Hey guys, so in this lab you guys get to make edible chemistry. Usually the rule is no eating your chemistry experiments, but this one is an exception. So in this lab we're going to be using colligative properties to make ice cream. And just to make it a little bit more um, academic, you're going to be doing some measurements and calculations of freezing point depression, um, one of the colligative properties. So in order to do this quantitatively or somewhat quantitatively, you're going to need the following supplies. So you should have two gallon size Ziploc bags and a quart size Ziploc bag. Right? You need to get a bowl full of preferably snow. You can use ice, but um, it'd be nice if we're all using the same consistent material. So just get a bowl full of snow. You'll also need your 100 mil beaker. You'll need your digital scale your thermometer from your kit, and then from your kitchen, you need salt. You need a half a cup of salt, so you need a, a large container. Um, you need some sugar, and you need some milk, which I, mine is in the fridge right now. I'll go grab it. And then you can also get flavorings if you want. So you can flavor your ice cream with some vanilla, some chocolate. You could use chocolate milk or flavored milk or like flavored almond milk. I'm just getting my milk. Ooh, you could put like coffee in it. You could make it out of like a frappuccino beverage. Whatever, get creative if you want flavored flavoring. So these are all the materials you're gonna need to have out with you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get ice in a Ziploc bag. And we're going to be doing calculations so we need to quantify the amount of ice. Now unfortunately, this dinky little scale I got you maxes out at 50 grams. So we have to get creative in order to weigh out the amount of ice that you're putting in this bag, you gotta weigh it out in um, portions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your 100 ml beaker. You should probably have a towel too. Um, you'll wanna dry it off between. Alexa, stop. Um, okay, so you're gonna start by putting your beaker here and you're gonna hit the tear button so that it zeroes out and cancels out the weight of the beaker. The weight of the beaker is going to be already included. And then you'll scoop up some snow. All right, you can fill up the beaker. I didn't really fill it up. And you'll write down the mass that you see here once it steadies out. And then you will dump it in the bag. And you're going to have to do this like about 10 times, possibly more. You're aiming for about 400 grams of, of ice, somewhere in there. I think I did 340-ish and it worked just fine. Um, and then you can turn this off. So that'll take a few minutes, just scooping, measuring. You'll write down all the weights and then you'll add them all together to get the total mass of ice in here. So try your best to make sure that when you dump the beaker into the bag, that you're really getting all of the ice out, um, that you're not like dripping it on the table and stuff. Try not to lose any of that mass. Uh, and we will try to account for it in the sig figs I tell you to use, our, to account for our error and our measurements there. Um, so then you're going to, uh, well, I guess the next thing you can do, the, no, let's do this first. First you'll, so then after that, after you fill a bag of ice, you will get um, a measuring cup. You need half a cup of salt, and this is an excessive amount. So um, you'll fill this with half a cup of salt, and you will dump the salt into this bag with the ice, and you're gonna set it aside for a minute. Um, and now you're gonna take some temperatures. So you'll take, use your thermometer. It's pretty simple, you just turn it on with the on button. I think the default is Celsius, but if it's not, then just hit Celsius. And you're gonna measure the temperature of the snow. You're gonna measure it at three different points. So you'll, you'll stick the thermometer in there and you'll wait. It doesn't beep or anything. You just wait until the number steadily stops changing until um, it reaches the steady state. And so you'll measure, measure it at one spot and then move it to another spot and get another measurement and then do it a third time. This is just to make sure we're getting accurate readings. We're gonna get a number of readings and average them. And then you're gonna do the same thing 
for the ice, the salted ice in the bag. All right, you wanna make sure it's all mixed up. You're gonna mix all the salt and the ice together. And then um, you'll stick in your thermometer and you'll get a temperature reading on that ice. In fact, if you wanna get your ice cream going before you take the temperature reading, that's fine too. The ice cream is gonna be made in this little bag here, in the quart size bag. You're gonna make this by adding um, one cup of milk and a quarter cup of sugar. Adjust that if you want to adjust the sweetness of your ice cream. Maybe a little tad of vanilla. Maybe some other flavorings if you choose. And don't add alcohol if you're 21. That's legal, but it, alcohol has already has a reduced freezing point, so I'm not sure you'll be able to actually get it to freeze. Just throwing that in there, okay? And then you're going to... I gave you two Ziploc bags because sometimes this bag leaks. So it's good to double bag this first bag. It also insulates a little bit better, keeps the cold in. And then your bag full of milk and sugar and stuff, you'll zip that up and you'll put it inside the inner bag. You'll zip these two bags up and and then you're gonna mush them around. Now the ice is gonna be really cold. You might wanna wear gloves or you might just kind of set it aside. So, you know, like a good cooking show, I've already already prepared some and set it to the side. So here's my bag of milk there laying on my cold ice. Now, if you don't mix it and stir it and knead it, it will freeze into kind of a solidish blob. So you want to keep stirring it, mixing it, kneading it. And it takes, it can take like 20 or 30 minutes. So, you know, turn on your favorite show, do it while you're watching the show. Um, and you'll start feeling it thicken. And mine's not quite at ice cream consistency yet. But when it is, you can take the bag out, the inner bag out. Um, key thing here is you want to wipe off the bag because this bag is now coated in salt water. So unless you want your ice cream to be salted, you'll want to wipe off the um, the water. And then you just cut off a corner here and you can pour it into a bowl and eat it. And uh, I want to see I want to see your results. So make sure you take a picture of your ice cream before you eat it. And you'll be doing calculations to figure out what the freezing point depression should be based on the amount of, of salt water you have and um, comparing it to the actual freezing point depression that you saw and seeing if it was ideal. All right, that's all.